Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk to you about something that I personally feel very strongly about and as you probably guessed from the title, it's body shaming. The very purpose of this video is to just reach out to anyone who is uh, you know, struggling with this problem out there and who doesn't know how to deal with it. So I have decided to make this into a two-part series. So in the first video, which is today, I'm going to talk to you about what body shaming exactly is and how you can recognize signs of it. And the second video uh, is going to be about how you can deal with body shaming in a positive manner. Now you might want to stay tuned for that. So yeah. Uh, let's get right into it. What exactly is body shaming? Now, body shaming is when a person passes hurtful or you know any kind of mean comments or remarks about another person's appearance, say something to do with the person's weight or size or height, skin color, anything to do with appearance classified as body shaming. Put simply, body shaming is just you know when a person is made to feel inferior because just because they don't conform with the society's unrealistic expectations of beauty or perfection and you know that is exactly what it is it's unrealistic because perfection does not exist in this world it just does not exist body shaming is actually a type of bullying or abuse basically body shaming it just perpetuates the notion that it is all right to be judged based on you know a person's appearance or it is all right to judge someone else based on how they look or you know what their skin color is what their body type is and that is just wrong that is plain wrong there is no other word for it i mean just think about it how often have you been asked to change something about your looks i mean i'm pretty sure every one of us here has been asked at least once by someone else you would look better if you did this maybe you should try doing that instead stuff like that all of that comes under body shaming now uh, another thing to understand is that body shaming is not something that only women go through even men go through body shaming on a regular basis uh, another thing is that like body shaming like a coin has two sides to it so it's not just fat shaming it is also skinny shaming i want to tell you about how body shaming manifests itself so um number one is uh you criticizing your own appearance now you might not realize this but you so often compare yourself to you know say another person uh by saying stuff like i wish i was as beautiful as her or you know i wish i had that kind of hair oh my god my body looks like this i should i should do this why am i like this all of that you criticizing your own self your own body for what it actually is this is the type that you don't realize but it's the one that is most prevalent and almost all of us do that you know nobody none of us here loves our body entirely for what it is i have done that for a very very long time and i actually realize now how wrong it is that i criticize my own body so often i put myself down so often you know, just because I was scared about what other people would think. Number two is person A criticizing person B in front of person B. Now, uh, that is saying stuff like, you know, oh my God, you should totally lose some weight. You should try this diet. You should, uh, you know, you should totally get some meat on your bones. You should eat a burger. You should try this fairness cream. You are criticizing another person in front of them and that that classifies as another form of body shaming number three is criticizing another person behind their back or without their knowledge now this is i hate to say it but it's spiteful and that's just what it is you cannot you just cannot put a person down you know you know when they're not listening or you know behind their back because that just is a reflection of who you are as a person and not a reflection of who they are especially not based on their looks if you're going to judge them hey, there's something totally wrong with you. Apart from this, humor is a way in which body shaming often manifests itself. Very often people joke about another person's appearance, try to put them down, but they don't realize that they're doing it because they think they're actually being funny because people laugh. This is one of the forms that is least likely to be detected and you know least likely to be taken uh, seriously because it is employed in the form of humor. Very often the person who is making these jokes about a person's appearance may not realize that he's actually hurting the other person. Uh, maybe for him it's just, you know, a way to lighten the mood or, you know, just a way to make fun. Now the sad part is that in our society, loving your own body without any effort 
is a truly mammoth task and the reason that it is so difficult and even impossible to love your body for what it is exactly is basically society's unrealistic expectations so these expectations and these standards for perfection have been so deeply imprinted on our minds have been you know we've literally been conditioned to think this way since our childhood that you know this is what perfection looks like and if you don't meet these expectations too bad you're going to have to change them and we have been taught this and we have been you know taught this multiple times that you know this is what perfection looks like and that is why we believe that this is the truth but in reality the truth is that you do not have to change your body for anything or anyone or to prove anything in this world to anybody bullying and body shaming can have such dire consequences on a person's mental health now i have literally seen kids as young as six years old saying stuff like i'm not happy with my own body i mean think about it they're six year old kids for god's sake you know this is just the tip of the iceberg and there is so much more underneath that you don't see i mean the kid might be showing signs of say hurt or self-esteem issues but you don't you, you just see a little bit you don't see all the hurt and burden that's underneath it now body shaming and bullying can lead to severe problems it can totally alter a child's personality it can it can cause self-esteem issues and self-confidence issues believe me i've been there i know what it feels like to hate being in your own body and to not be comfortable in your own skin and that is just the worst thing ever you are always conscious in public and you know you always believe everything that the other person tells you about how you should be and how you should look and that is just terrible and i totally know how that feels now it can also have a lot of much more dire consequences like say uh, depression anxiety eating disorders all of that the origin lies in body image issues and body image issues arise because of body shaming yeah that concludes part one of the body shaming video uh do hang on for part two where i tell you about how you can deal with body shaming in a positive way and how you can learn to love your body for what it actually is so do stay tuned for that and i will see you later bye